Hi everybody, Andy here. Welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to be looking at controlling your mount, such as this EQ5 Pro here that we've got from Stellarium. So we're in Stellarium here. Now the first step in Stellarium is to set up the plugin for telescope control. So we'll go across here and down to the configuration window and select that. We then have to select plugins here, which is the top tab, and then we go to telescope control. And at the bottom, you've got a tick here that says load this setting on startup. So we need to tick that and that will add a little telescope here, which will automatically appear when we start up Stellarium. We then have to configure Stellarium to control your mount. So you go into configure. What we have here, these are the ones that I've already set up, but we're going to set up completely new ones. So they'll be completely fresh. So there are three that we're going to do for this. One is to control it via the serial cable, which should have come with your mount. Now, my mount was second hand and I don't have that cable. So I'm going to be using a USB to serial cable here, which is a high tech Astro one. And it's got the FTDI chip built in. So it goes from RS-232 to USB and that plugs in to the base of the hand controller. So that just plugs in there. So we're going to be doing that for one of them, just doing standard serial connections. Then we're going to do control exactly the same wiring, but through the ASCOM platform. And then finally, we're going to use again through the ASCOM platform, but we're going to connect through EQ mod, which is a different cable. So let's go through the setup. I'm just going to plug in the hand controller into the mount and turn the mount on. Okay, so that's now initializing, as you can see. In a moment, it'll beep. There we go, so it's just beeped. So now I'm going to just put in the details, the location details into this. So it says, do I want to start from park? So I'm going to say yes to that. And then it goes through the normal setup here. I'll put in today's date. Okay, so I'm now at the setup menu, which is there. So that's great. So that's now set up. So now we go back into Stellarium and we need to click on this particular button here. Now this is where we configure the connection to our mount. First of all, we need to tell Stellarium that we're connecting directly through a serial port. So we just click on the top one there. Now we're going to give this a new name. So I'm going to call this new EQ5 Pro is there and everything else I leave as default so that's all default there now it has detected that it's on com3 so that's where it is now this is the bit where we have to tell it the type of mount we've got so we click on this one here and we go down to a skywatcher sign scan version 3 or later because my hand controller is a version 3 hand controller so we'll select that then we'll go a bit further down and that's it. There's nothing else to do there. So I click OK and it's now created new EQ5 Pro, which is the one we gave it a name. And I'm going to just click start on here and it should say connected, which it is, which is great. So we can then come out of this. And now what we have to do, we just have to scroll across the sky until we see our telescope icon. And there it is. So we have our new EQ5 Pro. Now it's showing us where the mount thinks it currently is. So that's where it thinks it is currently pointed. So to prove that we've connected, I'm actually going to go and select the sun. We've selected the sun and you can see that it's there. So what we have to do now is go down to telescope control, which is here. And our current object is the sun. So we're going to go current object and you can see it has populated the right ascension and declination here, and then you can click slew. And lo and behold, our mount is now slewing. And we can see now on the screen that the new EQ5 Pro is now slewing to where it thinks the sun is. So that's our first method of connecting to this mount here. So our next method is to use the ASCOM platform. The ASCOM platform is a platform which is used by all astronomy equipment 
And the idea is that it allows all different manufacturers of astronomy equipment to have a single platform where they can develop drivers and it allows all of the equipment to talk to other bits of equipment. The first thing you need to download is the actual platform itself. So you need to download this particular piece of software which is here. One thing you may need to add when you're installing the ASCOM platform is Windows.NET 3.5 and in order to do this you have to turn it on in the control panel. If you go into your computer control panel go down to programs and then programs and features here and then you need to go turn Windows features on or off and once that has been populated you just need to tick the box that says .NET Framework 3.5 and then Windows will download and install that for you, which will enable ASCOM to install. Once you've installed the ASCOM platform, you then need to go down to the Downloads tab. You then need to go to the Telescope and Mount and scroll down to your particular mount. So in my case, I'm using a Skywatcher mount. So I'd go all the way down to Skywatcher, which is here, and then we click Visit Site and then you need to install the driver for your particular hand controller. So it would be this one here. And that will automatically install into the ASCOM platform. Once you've done that, the driver for the SciScan hand controller will be installed and you'll be ready to go. Another set of drivers you might need will be the drivers for your FTDI chip. Now these are readily available as well. If you Google FTDI chip, you should be able to come up with the virtual COM port drivers and then you'll be able to download them and install them uh, from this website. This enables you to use the RS-232 to serial cable. We'll go back into Stellarium now. And this time when we go down here, we're going to click down here to bring up our telescope. We need to click on configure telescopes. We're going to create another profile which is EQ5 Pro ASCOM but we're going to put new in front of it. So we'll click on that there. So this time we're going to click on we're connecting through ASCOM. So this is the ASCOM connection. We'll give it a quick name. We'll give it a name here. Everything else is left as default there. We then need to choose the ASCOM driver. So we'll click on choose ASCOM telescope. And now this is the ASCOM platform. We now have to configure which one we want. So we want to go for Skywatcher Telescope. And then we need to click on Properties. And it should come up with the properties here. And it has automatically populated these for us. So we've got the COM port 3 and it's automatically taken our latitude and longitude as well. So click OK on there. And then we click OK again. So we now have new EQ5 Pro ASCOM and if I click connect it is now connected and we can see the hand controller is here as well. So we'll do exactly the same again, we'll just close out of these, select an area, let's just find where our, there we go, so we've got, we know that it's on the sun at the moment, so let's uh, search for an object in the sky, so we'll go to search and we've got M42 there so we can just search so we can see here we're on the Sun there and we've got M42 here which is part of Orion so I'll just call up the constellations there we go so we can see Orion there on the screen and M42 on Orion's sword so we've got the object there and we're going to select that as the current object it's now populated the right ascension and declination and then we click slew and the mount is now slewing to where M42 would be, or at least where it thinks M42 would be. So our final connection is to use EQ Mod. So let's go into Configure Telescope and we'll disconnect all of this because we're going to use a different cable for this. I'm just going to park the scope. So I just told it on the hand controller to park the scope so that it'll then tell me that it's ready to be powered off. This is an EQ Direct cable or an EQ DIR cable. It allows you to plug your mount directly into your computer via USB without using a hand controller. So in effect, this part, the entire hand controller here, is no longer required and we're plugging directly into the actual mount itself. So this bit will go into the computer. 
Once you've plugged in your EQ Mod cable, you need to go to the EQ Mod website and click on Downloads and then to the SourceForge website. And this button here will enable you to download and install the latest version of EQ Mod. Once EQ Mod has installed, you need to configure it to work with your particular mount. And you need to go, first of all, to the EQ Mod toolbox, which is this particular piece of software here. You need to click on Driver Setup, and it will then come up with this window here. The settings I've put in here, I've put the mount options to auto detect, the timeout I've put at 2000, the retry at 2, the board data rate is set to 9600, and it has automatically populated with COM port 4. If you ever need to find out your COM port, you can click here and it will automatically find it. So it'll go through all of your COM ports and eventually, hopefully, find your particular COM port. There you go, it says found there. If it doesn't find it, you can go into manage, computer management. You then need to go into your device manager and you need to go into COM ports. And you can see here the USB serial port is COM port 4. And if you right click and go properties, it will tell you it is the FTDI chip. Once you've filled in all of these details, you need to find out your latitude and longitude and elevation and populate these as well. It allows EQ Mod to know your location. And once you've done that, you click OK. If you then click on ASCOM Connect, it will then call up the ASCOM driver itself, which is this one. EQ Mod is a very powerful program and it basically emulates everything your hand controller can do and so much more. It gives you so much control of your mount. Um, but that's just a successful test to show that we've connected to the mount um, via EQ Mod. So we can now come out of both of these programs and go back into Stellarium. We're back in Stellarium now and we're now going to configure EQ Mod and Stellarium so that we can control the mount. So we go back into our telescope control and configure telescopes. So we're going to click on new. We're going to go again through ASCOM because EQ Mod is an ASCOM driver. We then need to give the new name. So new EQ Mod, EQ5 Pro. Again, we stay with the default on the J2000. Now this time we need to choose the ASCOM telescope, but we're going to go into EQ Mod ASCOM HEQ5 stroke 6 and then click on properties and it then comes up with everything we put in before so that's all okay and then we need to click okay there and we just quickly check everything's all right that's all okay great so now we have new EQ Mod EQ5 Pro which is the one we've just created and we're going to connect there we go so it has connected to EQ Mod and it called up the driver here. Now EQ Mod currently is showing that the telescope is parked, which is why those are flashing between parked and then the right ascension and declination. So we can unpark our scope and you can now see that these are beginning to move. Now in Stellarium, we need to go around until we find where our mount is pointing and there it is. So it tells us new EQ Mod HEQ5 Pro. And to prove that we're controlling it, we're going to select on our star, the sun, and then we're going into the mount and use the current object, which is the sun, and then click slew. And our mount has started slewing. And we can now see here comes the mount coming to point at the sun. There we go. So we're now communicating to our mount through Stellarium and through ASCOM and onto the EQ Mod software. And just to prove that it's all working OK, we'll go back and we'll search for M42 again. So I'll just put the constellations up again. So it's all there. Let's go to M42. So we'll search for M42. There's M42. And we'll say that's our current object that we want to go to and slew. There we go. So we're now at M42 on Orion's sword and it's all being controlled through EQ Mod.